John, a disappointing afternoon here then at Walsall. Uh, your assessment on today's game? Threw it away. Um, as much as we've been pleased with the players today, um, we've got to apologise to the fans. I should imagine on their behalf because they wouldn't. I thought for 20 minutes in that game, it, they was diabolical. Can we ask which 20, the closing 20, do you mean, when Walsall got their two goals? I think, well, I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? You know, talk about shape, talk about everything else. We praise the lads when they've done well. Um, praise the, the supporters once again today. It was fantastic. I felt a bit sorry for them coming all this way. Um, but we can't just keep playing when we want to play. Um, and it's just so disappointing because, we, you know, we've, we've ended the little run that we was on. And uh, to be fair, I think that we, we, we helped them. We give it away. Um, Good side, Walsall, you know, they've scored two good goals. I keep saying the team's a good side, but it is our place to come to. But you're 1-0 up. We've missed another hatful of chances again. Um, and you go up the other end and we're defended. And, you know, defence has been what we've been based on. And I think, in general, today, we was diabolical. There's a great chance early on in the second half for Ashley Addison. He makes a wonderful run from the halfway line. Gets himself a shooting opportunity, but can't quite find the finish. If that goes in... The game may be run slightly differently. You're two 0 ahead, and it's a totally different game. Yeah, that's easy to say though. If if they don't score two goals, we'll be one nil. So no, I'm not, I don't accept that at all. You know, we still got to defend right. We, we got into bad habits, and you can see why certain players in this football club have seen certain managers off, um, and it's not acceptable. What can be learned from a, a defeat like this, John? That we ain't good enough, and it's going to take a hell of a lot of hard work, and it's going to take a hell of a lot of. of uh, Refreshing of the squad, I would say. Um, and in general, listen, it's not me because I've got the ump tonight throwing a baby out of the water, so to speak. I think when you look at it, we, we've uh, we've got the nucleus of a good squad, but we need people consistently doing the right things. And if they're not consistently doing the right things, as I've been saying since we've been here, you don't look at the table. You look at the table at the end of the year and you be where you deserve to be. And today, I don't think we deserve anything. When you talk about refreshing the squad, John, are you talking about the, the transfer window that's now upon us or are you looking further ahead? Well, looking further ahead because obviously me and Lee have got to agree what we're doing. Um, hopefully we will be in next year, but I need to know. You know, it's getting to that time now because we've had, we've had there two months. Um, the owners and everyone have been fantastic. But it's frustrating that, you, you know, you're looking and you're trying to bring people in. We've got to get our own future sorted out before we worry about players. And if we look ahead to the next game, John, and try and put this one behind us, Grimsby come to the People's Pension Stadium next Saturday. Ian Holloway's come in and taken charge there and now on a little bit of a, a resurgence. But like I just said to Jamie Sendles white it must start to be a place now that teams must fear coming to. If I watched us today, I'd be loving to come and play us next week. So I don't believe in all that. You're only as good as your last game. All the old cliches again, but no, I listen, I don't buy into that whatsoever. If we perform like we did today, we get beat. So we've got to wrap our standards. Don't bother about the other side. Don't care who we're playing, what we're playing. We've got to do what we've been doing and we've got to get better at it. If we don't get better, we'll get beat. It's as simple. Will you change anything during the course of this week in terms of the way you approach <coughs> training or the things you get the players to look at in training? No, um, as I say to you, it's, it's, it's just upping the standards of everything. And if the players can't come along with what we're trying to achieve and, and go to the next level, well, something has to change. You know, and, and it's easy to blame managers, coaches and all these sorts of things. But, you know, you've got to have a look at yourself sometimes. Just a word today for the fans, John, coming back to this one. You've mentioned them before, 154 supporters that, that travelled up from Sussex. They're, they're going home empty-handed uh, and they'll be disappointed with that, having been in front of the break. Um, <laughs> I think there's, well, I know there's going to be three people going back on the coach for Crawley that'll be disappointed as they end, and I think I'm one of them. Um, as for the players, you'll have to ask them because sometimes, you know, we don't question their art and their commitment, but sometimes you do question their... I wouldn't say... It, it, it's a difficult one to put your finger on because the boys have been doing well for us. But I think a few of them have got to start looking at they don't do well for themselves, they do well for Crawley Town Football Club who are paying their wages. And as soon as they get that and do that consistently and continually, well, I can't say no more than what I'm saying without swearing. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for your time. Thank you.